Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when I upload. So I am back and I am pre-filming, so I'm still battling that head cold. I do have some hot tea right here, which is keeping my throat and my voice a little under control. It has been so long since I've done an empties video, so it's time. So I have my huge Sephora banged up bag right here that I always throw my empties in and I'm ready to just start going through them. This is anything from makeup to skincare to hair care, all of that kind of stuff. So let's just dive right on in. I also do a whole portion of sheet masks and I think I will save those for the end of this video. So if you are a sheet mask junkie and you kind of want to know a little bit about each of the masks that I've been trying out, I will try to give you guys as much detail as I can on that because it has been a while since I've used some of these because I use sheet masks all the time. So I will try to give you guys a little bit of a review on each one of them at the end of this video. But let's dive into the other stuff first. All right, so the first thing is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is from OGX. I've talked about this before, probably in my last empties video. I think I've mainly talked about this on my blog, but I have tried so many shampoo guys so many. This one actually feels like there's still some in it, but I have already repurchased this, of course, because these are just like my holy grail when it comes to my hair. I don't put as much time and energy into my hair like I do makeup, skincare, and that kind of thing. I definitely need to start, but this has just been working for me for the past, I would say, at least a year, and this is their Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. And I just love this. This just works so good. And an amazing thing about this is you can just get it at Ulta. You can order at Ulta and earn some points by getting your shampoo and conditioner there. But also, OGX is one of their brands that is constantly going on sale for like buy one, get one 50% off and that kind of thing. So that's usually when I catch these and try to buy them then. I'm gonna stick with the hair category for just a minute. And I said this last time I think too, but this would not be an empties if I didn't have a Batiste dry shampoo. So this is some of the most like inexpensive dry shampoo on the market and I love it. I just love it so much. I feel like this is just like my go-to for like day to day. I do feel like that I get a lot of white cast with this, but that's where you just massage, you know, it in and make sure that it's not like white or like you can tell that you just sprayed your hair down with dry shampoo. Even though I'm sure a good 75% of what's in my hair right now is dry shampoo. But <laughs> Um, this is their Sassy and Daring Wild scent. I really like this scent and I recommend it. It's just really good. And I also like their Tropical one. That's the can that I'm using right now. But I just go through these so much. I just love them. I go through Batiste the most just because it's inexpensive and I can just throw it in my hair day to day when I'm just doing mom stuff or just errands, that type of thing. I did finally run out of this Tarte concealer. This is the Shape Tape. You guys know I love this. It's in the shade Fair. I ran out of it. I even took like the stopper out. <laughs> I wanted to get every single bit of this. There's actually more product on here, but it's just, I've probably had this concealer for a year and a half now. So it's been in my empties bag for a little bit now and I've been using a newer one, but yes, I had two open at a time, I know. But I love this concealer. I use it all the time for concealing my brows, for just concealing my under eyes, my blemishes, my face, all of that. It's amazing. Such good coverage. You guys hear about this all the time from so many people. It's just a really great concealer. Hands down my favorite and the best that I have found personally. So I definitely have another one that I'm using. I just think it's crazy like how much product you also get. Like this thing has lasted me so long. That's insane. And I know I switch it up, but still, this is the one that I use the absolute most. All right, let's jump to some mascaras real quick because I didn't get to all of these in my last empties video and I need to just get through them because some of them have been in here for a while. So I have three from just the Ulta Beauty brand and these two are the Amped Lashes and then this one is the Maximum Lashes. So first I'm gonna talk about these. This mascara isn't bad. It is the bristles that 
are like plastic and it's like smaller. This is honestly a pretty good like day-to-day -day mascara. The only thing that I like really hate about this is how like just bendy the wand is. I wasn't a big fan of that because I felt like sometimes that made it like harder to use. I actually have quite a bit of product left in this one. I had gotten two somehow and I was using this one for a long time and then I had opened this one thinking that it was this one. I had two but they just both ran past their expiration date, so I had to chuck them. But besides that, I don't think this is a bad mascara. I think it was actually pretty good. It's not really something that I would probably repurchase again. I think if I got it like with a gift with purchase or something like that, I would definitely keep it and just use it for day-to-day -day use but not something that I have to necessarily repurchase because there is even drugstore mascaras that are around the same price as these that I like and get better results with personally. So their maximum lashes, it says defining and lengthening mascara, and it really is. This is a pretty good mascara too. This is another one that has a one that has like the plastic bristles, and I'm honestly not a huge fan of that. I'm just not. I would prefer more of the fluffy wand mascaras, like Better Than Sex, um, Ciate has a, I think it's like Wonder Wand or something like that. Um, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, I really like that one. You know, just that type of wands. Another one I'm about to mention too, the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It's another one that has those fluffy wands. I really like those. That's where I have the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. I miss this mascara. The reason that I had to throw this one out was just because the formula was getting really thick. I feel like this one tends to do that, but the price tag, the results you get, it's still so worth it. My only downfall with this mascara is that it doesn't last as long as other mascaras. Some of my mascaras I can keep using over the six month mark. I know it's not good and I do eventually just chuck them because I know that it's not good, but I'm just saying like there's still product to use and it's still performing well. Where with this one, the first one I had, I think it was just because I used it non-stop. I was obsessed. That thing was almost completely dry by three months. So I think that was just excessive use of it, where with this one, at about the five month mark, it was just the formula is way too thick. It does have a good wand. It is a, to me, it is an amazing dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. I love this one so much and it's so affordable. I will definitely be repurchasing this soon because I miss it. One more mascara I want to talk about is the Dior, Dior Show Mascara. This is just a little sample I got in, I believe it was like one of those Sephora kits around the holiday. Some of those mascaras I still haven't opened and I really need to try out because it's almost a year ago, but at least they're not opened. This is what the wand looks like. So it just kind of goes up to a point and it is like more of a fluffy one. I really did like this. I raved about it. I said it was pretty good. Um, I honestly just felt like it reached its limit and needed to be tossed. But besides that, it did good. I felt like it didn't give me as much volume as I wanted, but it was really good at giving me the length and not really something that like I would have to repurchase, but it wasn't bad either. I have a couple eyeliners here. The first one is the Ciate London Fierce Flicks, and I really like this eyeliner. The only reason I tossed it was just because it was just dried out. I've had it for a really long time. This is just the black one, and it's a felt tip. I kind of go back and forth between brush and felt. It doesn't really bother me either way, but I felt like this one was really easy to work with, and it overall was a really good eyeliner liner and I was sad when it dried out so this would probably definitely be on a repurchase list. I just have so many black eyeliners right now opened and I use my Kat Von D one so much so I don't really know. This one is from Model Launcher and this one is actually like I don't know I already have a swatch right here from a video I filmed earlier but yeah I can't even swatch it it's so dry. I literally had this for maybe two months and I believe I tried it out once and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. I thought it was a black eyeliner. Thankfully, I wasn't filming or anything, but I was just using it for like a day-to-day -day look and I went to put on this liner and it's like bright green. It was really pretty and I was like, oh man, I have to use that. Yeah, it's called Emerald. I did not read it beforehand, but I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to put that in a video. It's so pretty. Two months, it was dried out and by then I didn't even film with it yet. I was upset. But at the same time, like, I used this once and it was dried out in two months. So huge pass on this and you, you don't even want to mess with it. And yeah, obviously won't be repurchasing it. 
Another holy grail that I finally ran out of after probably a year or two is my MAC Fix Plus. This is a setting spray or a spray that you will spray on your brush to pick up like a shimmer eyeshadow to put on your lid, have like more of that oomph to your look. <laughs> And yeah, I just love this. I of course have bought another one and I'm probably already down to at least here, I would say. And I just love this stuff. I know that some people are like, oh, that's so like thin. It's not like in anymore. And to me, it still is. Like I love this, not just for eyeshadows, but to actually set my face too. I still just love this so much. The mist is really good. The formula is great. I like it. This is a little skincare item that I want to talk about. I actually just finished this last night. This is from, I believe it was Clark Botanicals. It's like rubbed off, so I don't really know for sure. But this is the Retinol Rescue Overnight Cream. And this stuff is bougie AF. It is so expensive. So sadly, I don't think I will ever repurchase this because I just don't know if I can bring myself to spend that much money when I know that there's other products out there that do a good job too. This was really good. It was like a good thick moisturizer. It's like completely empty so I can't like even show you guys because I used every single bit of it. I got this in a subscription box. It looks kind of like a Sephora Play sample because it's pretty little but smells so good and it's like a thick cream and when you apply it, it just feels so nice. It was a really good product. I recommend it if you're wanting to spend a good penny on a skincare product, but besides that, I just, I don't really know if it would be a repurchase for me. Maybe one of these days I'll be feeling bougie enough to get it, but with the retinol in it, I definitely seen a difference in my face, and that's what I really liked about it too. I felt like it was really nice, and I'm sad that it's gone. I really am. I just don't know if I can really make that purchase or not. Okay, so I'm trying to watch my time, but I did just find a whole bunch of other mascaras that I am just realizing are here, so I thought I would mention them real quick. So I tried out a couple of little samples from Smashbox, and this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and this is their X-rated one. Wasn't really a fan of either one of these, but I also don't know if it was just because of the sample sizes. And when I say that, it's because when I got these, I felt like there wasn't a lot of product even in them, sample-wise, like when I first opened them. This is the Full Exposure, so it's kind of like that Dior Show, kind of goes up to a point and it's like a thicker one. And then the X-Rated is kind of like a weird mascara. And there's actually still product on there. They just have like reached their limit of being tossed too. But I definitely liked the X-rated one a lot better. But this one just already started clumping. And that's kind of why I'm passing on this. I feel like it was just kind of clumpy on my lashes. And I just didn't really like that. But at the same time, I feel like there's barely any product on this one. So I felt like with the full exposure one, I didn't really get to have a good wear test with it because there was just like no product in the bottle. I did like the X-rated one the first few times that I used it, but after that it got really clumpy. So I feel like both of these would just be a pass, not something that I would really purchase. So I didn't really run out of this product, but the actual bottle on me broke. I honestly don't really care. This is just a mascara that ever since I've tried it, I've had a hate relationship with it. it. Hasn't even been a love relationship whatsoever. I thought I would like it because the wand has a curve and it's a thicker wand. So I'm like, oh, I think I'll really like this mascara. I cannot apply this mascara without getting it everywhere, without poking myself in the eye. And I just had a really hard time with it. And then my lashes weren't even bomb after using it. So I was just kind of like, I don't really want to use it. I didn't use it for a while. And then when I went to try it out again, to give it a benefit of the doubt, the bottle broke. So yeah, this is the Ico Black Magic Mascara. I just, I don't think this would be something that I would ever repurchase just because, I mean, like the bottle just snapped on me and I didn't really even care for like the actual product either. These are two mascaras that I love and I cannot wait to repurchase. This one, actually I've already repurchased. Yeah, I'm trying not. I'm like on a mascara ban right now. Like I cannot met purchase anymore because I have so many laying around unopened or opened that I need to finish before they go bad. But I have already repurchased this one. This is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes. This one is so good. This is another one like the um, Better Than Sex, the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash. This honestly replaced my L'Oreal because it is so good. This, the L'Oreal I want to say is like $8. It could be a little off. 
eight to twelve dollars it's in that range where this one is 20 so this one's a little bit more pricier but i seen that this was in the ulta 21 days of ulta beauty and it was like 50 percent off so i snatched another one because i love this mascara so much and it's on sale i'm gonna grab it because it was like almost as much as the l'oreal and I think I do love this one a little bit more than that one, but that one price-wise is so good. But yeah, if you haven't tried this, I recommend it. This one is like that too. This is actually the Ciate London one I was talking about, the Wonder Wand Mascara. This one just dried out on me because it's a sample, but this one's really good too, but it is up there in price as well. So I probably, I probably would like to repurchase this one eventually, but I am also content with my Butter London and also my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash. So it doesn't have to be like an immediate repurchase, but I do really miss it. It's a good mascara. Also another eyeliner. This is from Jessie's Girl. It's an indie brand that you don't really hear about that often. This is just a black one. And it actually did just go on pretty good. But every time I went to use this, it was just drying out. And I had this for so long. This actually used to be my holy grail eyeliner. I used it all the time. I need to repurchase it and kind of just see like how it is now after using the Kat Von D and stuff like that. I actually would compare it a lot to the Kat Von D because it's like a brush tip. This was the easiest one that I could work with, but it's a lot longer than the Kat Von D one, and I just feel like, I don't know if it would really be my cup of tea anymore. All right, another hair product that I want to talk about is these little samples I tried out of shampoo and conditioner from Chlorine. This is their Nutrition Nourishing Shampoo with Mango Butter and Conditioner with Mango Butter. These were really good. I feel like if I didn't have a Holy Grail shampoo and conditioner, I would definitely purchase these and give the full size a go. I may eventually, I need to keep these in mind because the smell of this is so good too. It's such a strong tropical mango scent. Maybe I need to try these out like and or keep these stocked for like the summertime. I think I would really like that but not just that my hair felt really good after using them even after the one use but I think this is a shampoo and conditioner that I would like to try out and buy the full size. But I thought I would mention these because they were really good and I have been trying out some like samples like this here lately to see like if I like them more than my Holy Grails or if they're like good enough after one use that I might want to switch it up and try out something different. And the last two products I want to talk about before I jump into some sheet masks are two little cleansers that I have tried. You guys know about this one. I've raved about it a lot, but in my empties. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I love it this cleanser. It is one of my favorite cleansers. I do constantly try out new ones, so I actually do have one of these that I've been using recently, though. I always have at least a little sample of this on hand because if my face starts acting up or I'm trying out a new product and I have a reaction, I always jump back to this because I know this works for me. I know this takes care of my skin and it's very gentle. That's why I love this. I did try out this one and I've actually been trying this out for a long time. I don't know if it's Avivine, Avine, not really sure. The bottle is like clear so it's kind of hard for you guys to see that even. I will have all of these products down below in the description box though listed if you guys want to check it out. But this is their Cleanance Gel and this is really good but I recommend this for oily skin because I use this when I would start to get like a little oily. I'm combo to dry, so a lot of the time I'm just combo or I'm dry. But in like the summertime, I go through like an oily spell here and there. And that's where I would use this because I felt like this would just like suck all the oil out, which sometimes isn't like amazing for your skin. I didn't feel like it really like stripped my face, but it did leave me pretty dry. So I feel like if you're really oily and you're needing a good cleanser to really get the bad oils out, Try this out because it really did that. All right, I got a stack here of sheet masks, so I'm ready to start tackling them and getting through them. So this first one is the Rose Heart, Rose Heart Deep Moisturizing Pink Mask. I remember this one because it was pink and it had heart cuts out over the eyes. I may have even done an Instagram video. I'll throw my Instagram name up on the screen if you guys want to check it out, but some of these masks I have done little mini videos on on my Instagram if you guys want to check them out. But, and I also talk a little bit about them too in those, but this one's really good. It's actually a two-step, so there was like a little essence pack right here that was a heart that you put over your face, and then you would put the mask on over it, 
definitely was really moisturizing. I remember this one because it was so moisturizing and even the next day, like my face just felt so like tacky still from like the moisturizing essence and stuff in this. I really do recommend this if you have like really dry skin because it was pretty good. I have went through probably a few of these. These are the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I really like these. I got these in a subscription, I believe, and they are just the gold little masks right there that you put on your under eyes. I use those kind of masks all the time. I wouldn't say these are my absolute favorite. I think I like the jelly ones that kind of suction to your face better than I like the gold ones, but I never turn down good under eye masks. This little mask here was pretty good. I felt like it, this one was like a really good calming mask. This is from Dewey Tree and it is their Collagen Melting Chow Mask. I believe this one was more of like a milky consistency on like a standard sheet mask. It was nice. I felt like it was very calming and soothing to my skin, but I don't know if it would be something that I would have to necessarily repurchase because I do have like calming masks already, but it wasn't bad. It was a nice like experience. I mean, it's a sheet mask. They're always pretty nice to use. Some of these are a little gross and I do apologize because they're just thrown into this bag. This is from Simply Win and this is their Soothe Stressed Out Skin. I did like this one. It was really good for soothing my skin. I remember I used this one when I had a really bad flare-up of acne and by the morning time, not my acne didn't like disappear, but the redness really did calm down and whatever irritations I had going on, this really helped soothe and help take care of that. This little mask is like, I want to say like a three-step mask. So I think there was like an essence that you would put on first and then you would do the mask and then you had like the step three, which is like a cream that you put on. I felt really bougie with this one. This is the... I don't know how you pronounce this. I don't know if it's SK2, but this is their Moisture to Shine. And it really was, it really moistured my skin. It made my skin look pretty bright afterwards. So, I mean, I had pretty good results with this one. And it was very, it was a very nice mask. This one was pretty good. This is from Bio Republic, their Cucumber Breeze Soothing Fiber Sheet Mask. It was pretty good, not something like that really stood out or anything like that, but it really wasn't a bad mask and I enjoyed using it. I loved this mask. This was a really good moisturizing mask and it was also a three step, but it was really good. And I remember the moisturizing benefits from this the most. This is another one that was like, all right. It wasn't like something that I feel like I have to repurchase. This is from Pure Lease, I think is how you say that, but it's their Coconut and Rice Nourishing Sheet Mask. It was like for, if you're just having a chill day at home and you're just wanting to throw like a cheap sheet mask on, I kind of felt like it was something like that. And I kind of feel like, I don't know, I want to say Perlise is kind of like a more, not really expensive, but not like cheap either. I'm not sure how much their sheet masks really are, but it just kind of had like that feeling. It kind of felt like a cheap mask from like Walmart. <laughs> but it wasn't, I mean, it's not like awful. I feel like no sheet mask is really like awful unless like the scent is really bad, but it didn't like blow my mind. This one was pretty good. This was a very decent mask that had a lot of essence in it. Like it just coated my face and it was really nice. It was another one that kind of left my face a little tacky and the next day my face felt amazing. This is from, I'm not sure because that's in another language. Oh, Durfil and it's their Collagen Real Juice mask. So, I mean, I liked this one. I thought it was really good. And this would be one that I would recommend. A lot of these masks are from Face Tori. My monthly sheet mask subscription, I will have my latest one linked up here. I should be posting a new one soon. It might be up, but you might just have to watch last month's to see that subscription, but you can actually get on there. They have a marketplace. And so some of these masks that I mentioned might be on there. So you guys can grab them. And I do have a link that's always down below in my description box that you guys can use if you would like. And this one is, I'm not really sure what the brand is because I did kind of like tear the top thing off. Oh, I think it's Welco's, made in Korea. This is their Jiju Natural Canola Honey Mask. And this one's really good. This is just kind of like a sheet mask from Walmart, that type of thing, but it really was a pretty good one. I tried it out and I think I had another one that I gave to a family member to try out and they really liked it too. So it really isn't a bad one for being really affordable. 
This is another one that looks pretty gross. This one was good too. It's not something that I would have to repurchase, but I felt like the best thing that I got from this mask, which is from Lei Zhanjing Young Mask. I'm not sure, but um, this one, I felt like the best benefits I got from it was the brightening effects, which I do like, but there is so many masks that I've tried that give me brightening effects while really deep moisturizing my face, and that's usually what I want from a sheet mask. So it was good, but if you're just needing something to brighten your face, this I think this one is a good one because I felt like I got really good results in the brightening aspects of this. This is one that's called Hyaluron melting chow mask this is also from that dewy tree brand this one i would recommend this one was very good there's hyaluron in the name hyaluronic acid is so good at moisturizing your face and this one did that i loved this mask so much i also went through some knc beauty lip masks i've talked about these two they're really good at moisturizing your lips and they also give you a little bit of a plump lip effect this one was really fun. This was actually one that just covered like half of your face and once you put it on it just bubbled up. It was pink. It does have like the grapefruit on there. This is from oh Berry Sum. I do like that brand a lot and Face Story carries this brand. You guys need to check out their mask. This is their soda bubble mask aqua fruit but it does show like peaches and like a grapefruit over there. It did kind of have like a fruity scent to it and yeah it just bubbled up completely and it felt really nice. I felt like my face was super bright after this mask. And this is another KNC Beauty lip mask. All right I think I'm just going to mention a couple more because I know this is getting way too long. I did want to mention my Grace and Stella under eye mask. These are my gold ones. I use them a lot on my Instagram and my Insta stories and stuff, but I really recommend these. These are some of the best ones I have found. They are very energizing and they just make me look so much more awake after I've worn these for like 15-20 minutes. So good. This is from Leaders and Solution. Their Juicy Pina Colada Bright Mask pineapple and coconut. I know this one. I actually used this when we were on vacation and I made sure I kept it so that I could put it in this video. <laughs> and that's been a while back. That shows you how long it's been, which my last video I was not able to even get through all these masks. This one is really good. I love their mask. They like suction down to your face. I love that kind so much. You feel so bougie. It's like the kind that you put on your face and then you peel off a layer. And then the second one is just like suction down to your face. I love it. I've recently been using from, some from Better Skin that I really like and that I also wanted to throw in this video. This is actually one that I have over here because they were so sweet and they sent me quite a few of these in the mail because I used it on my Instagram because I loved it so much. But this is their antioxidant one. I've used some of these and I have used one of their other ones. And I don't see it in this mix, so I will talk about it real quick, but this is really good too. And I'm not sponsored or anything, but it is a really good mask. And it's one of those that you feel so bougie with. It just kind of like suctions down to your face, stays in place, and it's so nice. The moisturizing results with it is so good. Yeah, that's the same with this one. This other one, this mask was so cute and I remember it because it was also really good at moisturizing my face, but I believe this one had other benefits too. I think it made my face like really bright, but it's also supposed to have like some plumping and like firming aspects to it, like if you use it consistently, so you might want to check it out if you're into that kind of thing. I know. And this is their baby face injection mask. You can get this on Face Tori, I believe. And it was a pretty good mask. And if it does that, then I mean, that would be something to repurchase and just keep using. This is the Milky Glow Mask from NOHJ. This brand is also carried from Face Tori. And this is a really good one. This one was pretty milky and very moisturizing. I actually only have a few here, so I'm gonna try to get through them. This one's from Mediskin. It is their Intense Brightening Mask Pack. This one was good too. This is another brand carried by Face Tori. Check these out because they are so good. I believe I've tried their moisturizing one before and I liked it a little bit better, but this one is pretty good too. You guys know I talked about Tony Moly. Their masks are really good too. This is their Skin Purifying one. I was having a really rough time with my skin at the time when I used this and it really helped calm my skin and again just took away a lot of that redness by morning. And this one is the Shionel Pore and Spot Care Mask. 
I used this when I had really bad acne too and I actually really did see a difference after using this sleeping and getting up in the morning I really did see a difference in the size of my pores and my acne spots I also tried out the Briorgio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I love this stuff. I have a little bottle of it now that I've been using, and it is so good at deep conditioning your hair. I love that. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to mention here. I know I have a couple more sheet masks in there, but I'm going to save those for my next one so that I have plenty to show you guys. But I have definitely needed to go through those for a while. I'm hoping that none of my empty videos will ever be this long again because... It's intense. So the next time I get a good amount of sheet mask and a good 10, 15 products on top of that, I will make sure I sit down and stay consistent with these empty videos for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know down below. Question of the day. What is the product you have purchased the most? Like over and over again, you run out of it and you have to have it. Let me know down in the comments. I'll also leave that question down in the comments for you guys pinned so that you guys can reply there if you'd like. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you give me some thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe notification bell so you know when I upload. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.